Do you agree with Andy Reid's decision to rest Patrick Mahomes? I disagree with Andy Reid's decision. This hurts because I respect everything Andy Reid does. And this may probably will work out for Andy Reid and the Chiefs, especially Patrick Mahomes. But I disagree in this moment of making that decision. Let me tell you why. Two things. One, talent always tempts you. Talent always tempts you to skip steps. Be real. We all grew up with talented guys. More. I could raise my hand and say, way more talented guys than myself. But you know what I saw through our experiences, our shared experiences, that they wanted to skip steps. Why? Because they were already ahead in their own mind, in their own accomplishments. So they wanted to skip steps. And I was a late bloomer, and I was the slower developer, even though I had some amazing moments in comparison I never thought to skip steps because I was always playing catch up. Okay. So that's one thing about this situation. It's bad timing, and I'm going to get to why it's bad timing. It's almost what they call, this is my second example, the curse of the gifted. The curse of the gifted is all I got to do is really try hard and just roll out there, put my jersey on, and things work out for me. And usually the world does comply to those same demands. But when I look at this team under a microscope this year, we've all come to an agreement. They've been playing with fire this year. Uh, it can warm you and it can burn you. Absolutely. I'm looking at you, Patrick Mahomes, Mr. Half a Billion Dollar Man, and I'm realizing that you're about to get a reward in a time where maybe you should get disciplined. Atlanta game was your worst game of the year in quarterback rating. I'm not done. The two worst games in yards per attempt were his last two games. He had four games this year under 60% completion percentage, including the last two games. You want to play your worst game at the end of the year, no one raises their hand and says yes. But in that situation, he's going to get rewarded as I say, a three-week break to go back to the lab and fix what was wrong against Atlanta and against New Orleans. Here's the problem, Acho. You know about football. You don't get into football shape unless you play football. That's correct. And shape is not just conditioning. It's timing. It's precision. It's accuracy. It's flow. It's rhythm. All I'm saying is they're playing with fire. So far, it's been warming them. Don't be surprised if it burns him. I, I like that take, but what I like even more is Andy Reid's decision to rest Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> okay. I like it even Talk more. Marcellus, what I've learned over the last 24 games watching the Chiefs play, in which they've only lost one. Yes. What I have learned yeah. is Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs, they can win games against great defenses. Mm. They can win games against great offenses. Mm. They can win games in cold weather. They can win games in domes. They can win games that are high scoring. They can win games that are low scoring. Reach. But the last time they lost a meaningful football game was when Patrick Mahomes was hurt. Mm. That's the last time they lost a game against a good football team. That was the Tennessee Titans November 10th, 2019. So if you were telling me that the Chiefs can win high scoring, Chiefs can win low scoring, Chiefs can win inside, Chiefs can win outside, Chiefs can win uh, uh, firepower, Chiefs can win no firepower, but the Chiefs lose to good teams when Patrick Mahomes is hurt or coming off of an injury, that's the last time they lost to a good football team, then wait a second. I'm going to do everything in my power to avoid that. Mm. That's what Andy Reid is trying to do. Okay. Everything in his power to like, avoid that. I love because that. the only time the Chiefs can lose two good football teams in the last 24 games, 96% winning percentage, is if Patrick Mahomes is hurt. So mm. what I'm going to do if I'm Andy Reid is make sure, hey, Patrick Mahomes, you don't get hurt. Because even if you're rusty, we still win. See, what Marcellus Wiley forgot to tell you all, America, is against that Atlanta Falcons game in which Patrick Mahomes struggled. He threw an interception. They still won. What Marcellus Wiley forgot to tell you all, America, <laughs> was against the Miami Dolphins, a game in which Patrick Mahomes threw three interceptions. They still won. Yeah. So what we know, what Sell knows, what Andy Reid knows, is that even if Patrick Mahomes is rusty, if you will, they can and will still win because mm. that's what they've done. Mm. But when did they lose to a good team? Mm. Not if Patrick Mahomes was rusty when Patrick Mahomes wasn't healthy. Mm. So Andy Reid's making the quality and competent decision to preserve Patrick Mahomes' health at all costs. But let's bring in another NFL analyst. Point. That's the guy, Bucky Brooks, my man. Well, Bucky, do you agree with Andy Reid's decision to rest Patrick Mahomes this weekend? 
Absolutely. And I'm so surprised at Marcellus's take. Like, Marcellus, like, I, I heard you guys talk about exactly. track and field early. And I don't want to always bring up the track and field references, but Why not? I feel like we need to because yeah, always. the Kansas City Chiefs, to me, are Usain Bolt. Okay. And so the only thing that you really worry about when you're the Kansas City Chiefs are the big moments, mm -hmm. meaning the playoffs, the Super Bowl. You want to be at your best. And Marcellus, you know from training and track, it doesn't really matter sometimes if we're running these invitationals and I'm kind of cruising, I'm winning, but I'm not necessarily setting my PR because my goal is to really set it in the championship meet. And so as I look at Andy Reid, and Andy Reid has a 24 and five record after bye weeks, including playoffs. And I'm looking at Patrick Mahomes and I'm like, hey, he just wants to make sure that he gets his guy to the postseason healthy and ready to go because he knows I have the most talented team. If I just get all of my guys healthy and ready to go, we fine tune the machine. Yes, sir. We get it going. We have to win two games and we're in the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Why would I take the chance of pulling a hammy, spraining an ankle, so I'm not at my best? So Andy Reid is actually doing the smart thing. Let's reset. Let's rejuvenate everybody. Let's make sure we relax and recharge. And when we get into the postseason, we're going to put the hammer down on everybody because we're the number one team, and we're going to show everybody why we're the defending champs. Hey, I am not mad at what you said right there, Buck. I know you probably expect some retaliation, some, some, some no, comeback no. like that. I knew, I, I knew the point was defending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My point, usually, let me take y'all inside my head space, oh, uh, between my ears. I walk around with a lot of internal arrogance. I always tell y'all that. I don't walk around and y'all witness it. I keep it right here. I got a good filter. But trust me, inside my ear, between my ears, yeah, Marcellus. Usually when I give you a take, I think I'm right and y'all wrong. This one, I think I'm right, and I think y'all right. So we just got to make a decision. <laughs> I am not upset what you guys are saying, but I will push back. Well, once again, the pom-poms in my head telling me that I'm right. Patrick Mahomes is going to have three weeks off now. Hmm, I wonder how that turns out for a team and a player when he has three weeks off and then says, hit the gas as hard as you can because it's the playoffs. You know it takes, it takes forever, forever to get in shape. And it takes no time to get out of it. So we're having a rest versus rust conversation. Let me give you a few examples of, the, of history that tells me, be careful when you give these guys rest because it could turn into rust. And remind you that this is the same Kansas City team that hasn't won by more than six points <laughs> since week nine. So already sputtering or already closer to the pack than I think a lot of people want to admit. Let's go back to 2019. How far back is that? Just last year. The Ravens rested Lamar Jackson, lost the first playoff game. Okay. What about 2017 when the Rams rested Jared Goff and Todd Gurley? Remember they had that fire team? Oh, how'd that turn out? Okay. What about the Steelers when they rested Big Ben and Le'Veon Bell? Remember that fire team? Mm, didn't work. The Cowboys rested Zeke and Dak. Mess around with Sanchez and Romo and all that stuff. Remember how that turned out? Here's my point. All of those stick out. Tony Dungy for years. All of the situations that was happening with the Colts, they kept resting and they kept losing. If this happens to the Chiefs, Rewind this film, <laughs> rewind this moment, and come back to me and then declare that you guys are right. Because right now, I'm playing it cautious. I am playing it safe. I want my guy to get into some kind of good rhythm at the end of the year. Because the last game for sure, if not the last two games for Patrick Mahomes, even though he won outcome, that wasn't the best performance for my MVP quarterback. Here's what we have to understand, mm. though. Some people transcend statistics. Some people mm. transcend mm. history. Mm. Patrick Mahomes is some people. Mm. See, Patrick Mahomes won't play football for 21 days. Is that right, Marcellus? Three yeah, weeks. Three weeks. Yes. 21 days. Yes. Well, Patrick Mahomes, Marcellus, he didn't play a game from February 2nd, 2020 to September 10th, 2020. And if my calculations are correct, that's 221 days. That's a days. longer time. <laughs> and he showed up, Marcellus, with three passing touchdowns, 123 pass rating after not 21 days, but 221 days. He outdueled Deshaun Watson, the other star quarterback great who got paid. Point, then two weeks later, he outdueled Lamar Jackson, the other AFC star quarterback <laughs> who got paid. Mind you, in the middle of that, he outdueled Justin Herbert, who we didn't know at the time, but would go on to set a rookie passing touchdown record, another future star quarterback in the AFC. So I am not concerned with Patrick Mahomes missing 21 days of football when he's shown me, he's shown us, he's shown Chiefs fans, he can miss 221 days, still show up, 
and ball. Huh. You're in trouble. Hey, hey, Acho, that was nice. That was nicely done. Oh, I like I like the full swing of board. I like the amount of days that you put up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Boy, it all you, made sense. Did it make sense, Acho? Boy, for me. Because, because I'm sitting here looking at Marcellus, and I'm like, okay, Marcellus, let's go back to your playing days. So under that premise that you're saying, I guess the fourth game of the preseason when me and Emmanuel Acho are out there playing for our, 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 our lives, you also need to be playing because you want to make sure that you're ready for the regular season. Hey, chill. But I know that is not true. Chill, buddy. And so chill. What, I, what I'm saying is it is all about mm. practice reps and getting ready and making sure that they work out the kinks of the offense. They're getting all that stuff done with the timing on the practice field, but preserving the player because we all know you, that, that, that playoff speed it's so much different than the regular season speech. You want to gear up for that increased intensity by being rest and fresh and ready to go. And that is what Andy Reid has done. And that is why his record says that they win 80, 82, 83% of their games when they take the week off leading into another game. Okay. Um, we're going to have some fun right here. Because I just heard two state school guys just over there giggling. Oh, man, that was so good. They went away in the full screen. And I couldn't believe that you guys didn't see the fallacy in that full screen. Where, didn't see Sam? the issue with it. See, once again, you're saying where? Put the full screen up and let me show you those three things. Okay. You said that's yes. two. I'm trusting your math, state yes, school. Sir. That's 221 days, you said, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, take the full screen away. I need to see y'all facial expressions <laughs> in full when I tell you this. You know the difference between that situation and that context and this one? In the offseason, nobody's playing. In the offseason, everybody's in the same position. What we're talking about right now is he's going to have to get on a treadmill that's going to be moving faster than it has moved all year. Because guess what? The other teams are going to be playing. So while you take your 221-day layoff, everybody is taking that. And Deshaun Watson, in that same example, took an even longer one because y'all beat him in the playoffs. But how about this one? I don't know who they're going to play when they get their bye week after that in the playoffs. Acho, I see your face now. You're like, damn, I ain't think about that. When they have to face whoever they face in the playoffs in the divisional round, that team won't have a 221-day layoff or longer. So that example was not apples to apples. All I'm saying is, y'all been to the gym before. Looks like Acho a little more than you, Bucky, and then certainly more than me. No, no, but the, no. Oh, oh, oh. But here's the thing, Bucky, be real. When we had to do those sprints on the treadmill, and that treadmill's mm -hmm. already geared up at 15, 17 miles an hour. <sighs> okay, that's a complete difference than getting on the treadmill when you get to gear it up yourself. That's what I'm seeing as a difference. I hope it's just going to be rest, but be careful. It may be rust.